So just wanted to make a quick video about this whole COPPA, FTC, uh, dust up debacle, you know, people being scared and shit. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel sorry for a lot of these channels, uh, in a sense, because when people are going after the guns channels about their second amendment right and even their first amendment right, uh, or sorry, their, um, their right to bear arms and their right to free speech. Um, you saw a lot of people just not really caring in some cases. There, was, there wasn't there was any crazy amount of videos. The preppers were going crazy and saying a lot of things. And I kind of, um, you know, I, I visit those circles every so often. Um, you know, silver uh, preppers, silver hoarders or silver bugs, things like that. But you didn't hear much outside of it. Then, of course, the Alex Jones dust up and how he got banned from every, um, you know, the the uh, what's it called? The, the pretty much the attack that was um, the coordinated. That's the word I'm looking for. The coordinated attack pretty much on him and his channel and everything that he does and um, and his uh, his avenues uh, where he broadcasts things, you know, like uh, or the platforms that he uses, um, you know. People were making fun of him in a sense and going, you know, saying a whole bunch of things on Twitter and all this other stuff. And then, of course, you know, he did his thing on Joe Rogan and you start hearing some of the stuff people were saying that he was saying on Joe Rogan. And people started to see that. No, nah, he's not really a crackpot or anything else like that. Now you see, you know, um, there was other little dust ups in some other areas, um, uh, you know, people talking about ADOS and then kind of labeling them as Russian bots in some cases, or people were making that connection or that correlation um, that they were being labeled as Russian bots. So now I'm seeing this whole thing about COPPA and people are really getting scared. Gaming channels are getting scared. You know, um, toy channels are getting scared and all this other stuff. Things that were um, being pushed to or that kids that things that kids watch. And I'm just looking at it like. You guys understand that there's canary and coal mines. These gun channels were canaries. Uh, some of the other channels and dust stops before it that I'm not even mentioning that I don't even know about were canaries in the coal mine. These, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, figures like Alex Jones and other figures that talk about this stuff all the time. You know, people even in the gaming community that talk about some of the things that are going on. Um, uh, in terms of their supposed misogynistic anti-feminist rhetoric, I'm looking at this COPPA stuff and I'm like, I almost, I almost really just kind of want to laugh and be like, yo, this is kind of, you guys should have been saying something long time ago. And for those that did, yeah, great. You know, I appreciate it. You know, I really wish more people were talking about this and were going after this and were saying something about this, you know, um, those that didn't know about it, okay, I, I understand. Um, I, I can't really do much about it or anything like that. It's just not as a big, it's not a big problem until people start saying things like, um, hey, YouTube is a barrel and the creators are fish and we're going to go, we're going hunting. You know, they're going to start shooting the fish in the barrel and really start um, ham uh, nailing, what's it called, nailing some of these people with all these different fines. And people are going crazy over it because they were making their $30 and sometimes, you know, a couple thousand uh, or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month off of YouTube. And now they have to kind of clean up their act or um, they can't be as uh, open or what have you. And, you know, even the uh, even even the skeptic community. You know, if you look at people like Mr. Medicare, I don't always agree with everything that Mr. Medicare says. I think some of the stuff is satirical. Uh, I think it's mostly satirical and funny, but he'll say some stuff that I don't really like jive with in terms of like um, uh, some of his uh, videos on like black history and things like that, which kind of like he'll say stuff and I'll be like, yo, that's kind of fucked up. But um, he's he has his right to his opinion. And then, you know. Free speech, as they say, is not you don't want to protect the speech that, you know, um, that you agree with. Free speech is about protecting the speech that you don't agree with. Now, everybody's going to start getting on this free speech ba bandwagon. And it's kind of like, no, this has been happening for a while. This is a lot of channels have been lost to this for a long time. 
And free speech is not about speech that you'd like to protect. It's about speech. It's not just about that speech. It's about the speech that you don't want and you still have to protect it. And now people are going to be screaming, oh, this is against free speech. Deal with it. Like I'm seeing every video is cop of this, cop of that, you know, so on and so forth. And I'm like, what happened when all these gun channels were getting taken down left and right? Because they were showing off, you know, things that one exercising their Second Amendment and two or sorry, exercising their right to bear arms and two exercising their um, their right to free speech. Like, come on. It's crazy to me that um, that this is getting such a big dust up when these canaries were dying. These channels were getting taken down every two seconds. You go to some of your favorite gun channel or even prepper channels and they wouldn't be they wouldn't be there. Channel would be locked down. All videos locked, uh, put on private, so on and so forth. This has been happening to even um, a lot smaller channels, even in the uh, Negro Manosphere. You know, uh, especially uh, your David Carroll's, <laughs> you know, people don't like him. I think he's funny, to be honest, and I love it. Um, but, you know, people really people really started to stalk him even in um, when he was uh, doing stuff on Vimeo. And he said, as he said, he was like, I would laugh every time they would take a channel down and then boom, I'd come back. The, the recreation, the reproduction was even better than the original. And, he, you know, he's not really saying anything crazy. It's just he's harsh with his um, tone and saying what he wants to say. But this copper thing, uh, I'm kind of like laughing at it because there were canaries in the coal mine. And <laughs> y'all wasn't even watching the canaries. My people, please watch the canaries. They could save your life, your channel. Enjoy copper.